I met April in uh, 1997 when uh, we were both in the same 11th grade class. It was Miss Turntine's and Mrs. Whiteman's class and it was English and History. And we just randomly one day switched seats and uh, she just happened to, you know, sit at the table I was sitting at. I got to sit next to Dave, or I should say diagonally across from Dave at the same exact table. We started talking. She would read things that I was writing down in my creative writing journal. He was a little bit more quiet back in high school, but super artistic and musical. And uh, I would draw her little pictures. He was so sweet and he'd actually draw me little sketches. Different days of just funny things to cheer me up or make me happy. So I started to develop this crush and uh, you know, she was just so cute and so nice and I just felt so great when I was around her, we were hanging out. I remember wearing his baseball cap after we would leave class different days, we'd go back to the locker bay in the sub school. I always held on to that crush. I think I always, she sort of became um, my definition of the perfect girl, right? After that, we both graduated and went off to UVA, and at UVA, we sort of did our own things a little bit for the most part. And then she got me involved in this thing called Dance Marathon, which is basically this, um, this 24-hour charity event where people actually dance for 24 hours. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. I think I actually rallied Dave to get involved in it. Pretty much the only reason I joined Dance Marathon was because of April, so... <laughs> and, and we both graduated in 2002 and sort of went on to do our own things and moved to different cities. April went up to New York and then she was in Boston and then came back to DC. And Dave was in Baltimore and then Atlanta and then actually in Brooklyn. We really reconnected when uh, April came up to um, visit me in New York. We just really had such an amazing weekend and such a good time together and I think we were both really really sad after that weekend where we had to head our separate ways. I think that what I realized is that I was justified in keeping my crush for so long because the April of uh, you know 10 years later that um, from 1997 to 2007 uh, that April was still the nicest person, the cutest person, the sweetest person I'd ever met. It was actually right before Dave was moving out to San Francisco. April and I were really starting to reconnect right before I left. It was the worst timing possible. I mean, really bad. And so that's when Dave finally decided that he was going to tell me uh, that he had feelings for me. When I was flying out to San Francisco, I actually started to draft a letter. I wrote down in my sketchbook and wrote down uh, all the feelings I'd had basically for the past 10 years. I was sort of surprised, I guess, that the response was that she was feeling the same way about me. Things went from there and eventually I got lucky enough to be able to move out to San Francisco as well so we could be in the same place and we've just been having a blast out here ever since exploring the West Coast together, going to Tahoe, going to Napa. We went to Maui in Hawaii about a year ago. I had bought the ring and everything and was ready to propose and waited till pretty much at the end of the week. Uh, we did this whole scavenger hunt thing where I put all these clues in around. And there were a number of clues that involved me having to like talk to different people I didn't know. So I gave one to like one of the lifeguards at the hotel pool and I hit one of the brochures in the front lobby. And the last one led us to a gorgeous beach that we had been to earlier in the week called Big Beach. McKenna said some wonderful things about all that our relationship has meant to, to him and then got down on one knee and proposed and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, right as the sun was starting to set, you really couldn't ask for a better scene. And uh, she said yes, and then I said, let's go because uh, we have reservations in about five minutes to this restaurant. You know, since that time, I've just been having a ton of fun getting ready for the wedding. I feel like a big part of our relationship is our friends. And you know, a lot of you, we've seen you, in, you either live in San Francisco or you've come out and visited. We are so grateful for having you all in our lives and can't wait to celebrate with each and every one of you. We're looking forward to a great time in Napa this summer, uh, July the 4th, and we hope to see you all there. Thank you for watching and thanks for all the support.